Einstein hated this about quantum mechanics, despite being partially responsible for the quantum revolution with his work on the photoelectric effect. In fact, he even called what we're about to talk about spooky action at a distance. We now, of course, know it as quantum entanglement. Quantum entanglement happens when two particles are created at the same time in a specific way. This creation forms a link between these two particles, so that when you measure the property of one particle, you know what that property will be for the other particle. For instance, if this were an electron and you measured this one to be spin up, you would know that this one was spin down. Now Einstein hated this because the information that you knew about the other one was instantaneous, and he thought that that broke general relativity. However, it doesn't. This is because no information is actually spread between those two particles, and it is impossible to transmit information between two entangled particles. As soon as you measure or change something about one particle, or if that particle were to say interact with another particle, this link becomes broken. It separates the two particles and means that changes to one will not affect the other. All quantum entanglement means is that if you make a measurement of one particle, you know that one property for the other particle at that given time. Once you've made that measurement, or if you try and change a particle, there is no way to know what, how that will affect the other particle because they are now not connected and not entangled. This concludes my quantum mechanics week. Thank you very much for joining in. I hope you've learned something and I hope I've made quantum mechanics slightly less confusing for you. Next week, I think we'll talk about some astrophysics. So please do like and follow so that you don't miss any of that. If you have any questions or suggestions for things that you might want to learn about in future, please do leave them in the comments below because I want to do things that help. And as always, until next time, I've been Dr. Alex Foden, the Science Wrangler, and I shall see you one of these days.